Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this tutorial is for you, Joey, at Burkhart Productions. You asked how to make a like progress bar in Adobe Premiere Pro and this is how you do it. Hey, thanks so much, Joey. I appreciate it, and I love your videos. I love your spirit. I love everything about you. So, how to create a likes progress bar? Well, a lot of times people will do this uh, in After Effects or a combination of, of um, Photoshop layers and then animated in After Effects. We don't need that. We can do the whole thing in Premiere Pro. Let's go have a look. So, here is the final result. It pops out to the right, and a number is going along and the bar goes along too. And as we move along, we can see that. Now this looks like a Windows uh, progress bar, but you could make any graphic design you want. Uh, you could even take a screenshot uh, either in Windows or in OS 10, and then build upon that if you want. I built this whole thing in Premiere Pro. And you can see down here, there are three different tracks that I, I'm using. The bottom, I'll double click on this and open this up. And here you can see it opened up the title designer. And I just used all of the elements inside the title designer. Pretty simple stuff. There's a background here, and I'll move that over here and show you. It's a simple, um, very light background with a shadow, a drop shadow on that. So I've just created a drop shadow. That's it. That's the color. And there's the size that I had there that I just created. Um, Inside there is that little indented area, and that is a bevel that I have set to these numbers here that just outlines that area uh, where the, the bar will be drawn. Now, the easiest way to, to draw the, the top and the red is you could actually copy and paste this. So if you select that and copy it and then paste it, You can drag this up and change the color to anything you want. So I could go to something gray if I wanted. And I'm using the arrow keys. That way it keeps this nice and accurate. Um, and I can place that wherever I want. Okay. To do the, the red on the right side, then I copy and paste this and drag over to the right hand side and I don't need a shadow on that. There it is right there. Oh, and I don't need a shadow on that one either because I copied and pasted the bottom. Um, it had a shadow on it. So there's the right-hand side, and if I wanted to, I could click and make that any color I want. I just wanted to show you that it's easy to make these uh, inside the title designer if you copy and paste and use the arrows up and down instead of manually moving them because you're trying to get them as accurate as possible to build up there's la the layers and there's no snapping in here. Um, I also added in the word likes and a letter X, an uppercase letter X to create that title, uh, the close box. Okay, so that's the bottom part. The next part is this little progress bar that's going on. And you could use just a simple, um, this is a title that's just a, uh, a, a rectangle with a gradient fill on here. So you can see it's a linear gradient from top to bottom with this green color. It could really just be any shape you want. Now, I like the idea of having a bevel on here. If we zoom into this, and look, you'll see the bevel is all the way around all the sides. If you, and the way that this grows is with the crop setting. So you can see I've set a crop on a right value and a left value. So the crop just moves from one side to another. And without the bevel on here, it looks fine. In fact, if I turn off on the bottom, you can see there's another look. You might like that, where just the gradient grows. But uh, I just added another level of complexity with this uh, bevel. And if it's bevel alpha. So if you check down in your effects and type bevel 
alpha. And an alpha channel is a transparent area. Uh, the bevel alpha simply means add a bevel to the alpha channel. So if the top effect is cropping, then as it crops the, the size, it's actually cropping the alpha or the transparency. So when you add a bevel on the alpha, wherever it's cropped, it's adding the bevel around the outside edge. Pretty cool. If we reverse this, watch this. So you can see the bevel there. I'm going to drag crop below, and you can see the bevel doesn't show up on the right-hand side. Maybe you like that. I don't. So I'll drag the crop on the right-hand side. All right, the next thing is to create the likes. And the way you do that is by creating a color mat. So down in the new item, create a color mat, 500 by 60, click OK. Doesn't really matter the color of this. And you could name it whatever you want. I named mine likes. Now, what I did was, I put it into a, a full sequence. So what you can do is drag that color mat over top of your video. And there it is over there. So I'll drag that in. And you can, you can see that by clicking in the effects controls. Because it's black on black, you can't really see that. So what this does is it helps you position it in the right, in the right spot. And now if you nest this, right click and nest it, what it's going to do is it's going to create this. And what this is, is a full HD frame with just that effect in, or sorry, just the color matte in it. The effect that I'm using is time code. So down in the effects, if you type time code and drop this in, this will show you a running number from zero to whatever. Now, it's showing you the time code. And if we look over here, the settings that I have, it's not simpty. I don't want that. I just want a number. So I'm using frames of the clip. OK. And I am using no label and no source track. And the opacity is set to 0. If the opacity is set to 100, watch what happens. It actually makes, whoops, it actually makes it show up as black. But if you choose the opacity, and you really can't see this when we're on uh, black on black, but the opacity is changing the black value below this. So the number itself is white. OK, so I wanted to show up white, but I also wanted the count to show more that this this progress bar is, you know, only less than a minute. And if we chose to do frames, then we're only going to do a small amount of frames. And if that's what you want, all you have to do is take a color mat, drop it in, drop on the, on the SMPTE time code, change it to frames, and you're done. But I bet you you want to have a giant number. So the way that I get around this, because the SMPTE number or the frame number is showing you the exact number of where you're at. So how do we fool this? We create a giant two-hour timeline, and then we increase the speed of it. Pretty simple. So this, you can see by the time we get to the end, we're almost at two hours in length. Uh, let me go back to changing this to no transparency grid so we can see it. Now look at the numbers we've got. Huge numbers here. But if we take this, there's the like count. There's our progress bar. There's the like count. Let me just delete the thing that I was showing you before. If you take the delight, the like count and you drop it in, we don't need the audio, so I'll delete that. If we look at this, it's huge. Well, the easiest way to fix that 
is to go and grab this tool, which is the Rate Stretch tool, take the right-hand side, and drag it down. And that's what I've done, so now the numbers are much bigger than if it was just a color map. Okay? So it's, it, it is a little bit complicated because there's lots of elements involved in here, um, and the number of likes is automatically generated for us. It's not an exact value. Uh, it's really we're faking these large numbers by creating it um, that way. So we've got, just to recap, down at the bottom we've got our um, title that looks like a progress bar. Above that, we've got the actual bar moving, which is just the cropped title rectangle. And then above that, we've got our like number that's moving up inside there. So what do you think, Joey? You think you can put this together? You know what? I'll put a link in the description so everyone can download this. Now, normally I'm going to start putting these things on Patreon. So you got to get your hiney over there and uh, support us to be able to do it. But for Joey, I'm going to put this on there. Hopefully this is what you wanted. Hopefully this, this is the likes you want. And like I said, it, it looks like a Windows progress bar, but you could make it as easy as a, a Mac OS or a generic rectangle wherever you want. And the background is black here, but it's transparent. So you could drag this whole sequence onto another sequence you could scale it up you can scale it down position it wherever you want so you've got this floating wonderful looking progress bar well hopefully everyone else found this informative uh, if you're new to video revealed take a moment and subscribe uh, we appreciate all the support here if you want to support us a little more and help create it help us to uh, support us to create great looking uh, tutorials, then jump on over to Patreon for as little as $1 a month and support us and show us some love. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith. It's my job to get you looking your best.